I'm here to talk about a subject that's been going around the uh, music community, I would say. Um, hope that's not too loud. Um, the, the subject I'm talking about is, you know, our buying habits, our guidelines for ourselves. Uh, how do we self-impose them? Uh, do we have a budget? Do we, you know, do we control ourselves or do we go ball up in the wall? Uh, I'm fairly new to the game again for vinyl. I mean, I've been watching it for a couple of years. Uh, I started buying some. Before I started, you know, in the VC, I probably had, I don't know, 50 to 100 maybe. I don't, I don't remember. But uh, then I found you guys, and then it really kicked in again. So I'm going to blame you fuckers for that. Um, but anyway, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my vinyl. Anyway, um, I don't really have any guidelines. I mean, I don't, you know, I try to... I guess my guidelines for myself or buying practices would be I won't over... I won't ever pay. Uh, I do a lot of research. I'm on a lot of places that, you know, if an album pops up, they know I want it, and you know, they'll notify me, Discog, stuff like that. I have a couple other places and, and, and contacts uh, that I can find it. Got a lot of you guys, you know, VCLT have helped me in the past. Um, so I do find it without paying incredibly overpriced prices. Have you seen a couple of my past videos, you know I stopped digging for a while because of that, but that's kind of come back down since they, you know, the guys who were there all the time stopped coming around for a reason. So anyway, so that would be, that would be my guy. Um, that is literally the only thing I spend money on, is music. Uh, I don't buy all the t-shirts unless it comes on the package I have to buy. I don't buy all the trinkets and stuff like that. Um, there are some things I like, like posters, autograph stuff. Yeah, stuff like that I do like, but I don't go crazy for it. Uh, if I can get a CD autograph or a vinyl autograph, I don't really like my vinyl autograph. Um, especially on the front cover, like the mouse scene is up there. I don't like when it's autographed on the front cover. It's just my thing. Um, I'm just always afraid it's either gonna get ruined or, you know, I just don't like it. But that's been in the frame since I got it. I got more stuff I'm putting up there because somebody bitched about my boring background. Even though I'm in my dining room because I don't have my music room done yet. But whatever. So that's mine. I also would encourage you guys, talking about thinning your uh, collections, to really think about that. Um, back in, you know, 90, 90, uh, 91, 92, uh, I traded in a lot of my stuff for... Uh, cass uh, cassettes, CDs when I start getting the pop, you know, pop, really popular. Uh, all my cassettes and all my vinyl went traded into different mom and pop shops because we had a fuck ton of them back in Philly. Um, went in there for, you know, store credit so I could pick up the CDs that I wanted, the albums like that. And I actually, at the time, traded it, you know, when I traded in, I got damn good value, so I got lucky that way. So I had a pretty much of an instant CD collection pretty quickly. Um, and by 91, 92, the used CDs were starting to hit the market pretty heavy because you know, they were coming out in 88, 87, 88. So uh, I would really advise you guys to think about it when you say you're thinning out your collection because I think we've all been there and you, you just get too much all of a sudden you're like, well, I don't really need that or I don't really need this. Um, and then you regret it. Uh, one of the biggest regrets of my life is selling my shit uh, back then, you know. So now I'm chasing it and I'm paying four to ten times the amount normal, you know, of the normal prices back then. So, that's a bit of a, of a kicker for you guys to think about, or really think about. Uh, I know a lot of you guys do mul multiple genres. I also don't do that hardly at all. If I run across like a Snoop Dogg I have, or, you know, something I, I like and it's fairly cheap, I'll pick it up that way. Garth Brooks, George Strait, anything like that I would pick up. Yeah, yeah I said country. Um, 
There's some pop stuff I would pick up, but it pops up the ridiculous prices for a new vinyl, so I don't even look at that. But all my money goes into my vinyl. That's why you guys see me buy so much. That's pretty much my, it's always been my thing. It's always been my addiction, whether it's been cassette, vinyl, uh, CD, you know. Uh, there's, I don't really have strict guidelines. I take so much money with me. Um, occasionally I'll, I'll spend more than I want because something pops up there. But I try to keep myself in, in range. Um, Lately, I've, I slowed down a lot. I'm just buying stuff I really, really want. A occasional dig. Like, you know, I found a couple of things the other day. I'll show you guys tomorrow because I have an update coming in the market. I got a bunch of other stuff coming in from Amazon. So, but I don't really have guidelines. So it's hard for me to really talk about this. Um, I kind of just want it and I buy it. You know, I don't, I don't buy things I know I won't listen to. I'll tell you that much. Um, I don't buy it just to have it. I don't do that at all. Uh, there's fans I don't like that I see, like Motorhead. I, I'm not a fan of Motorhead. I see their vinyl all the damn time. Uh, Rush and Kiss. And I do buy Kiss, but I, I, you know, if it's too much, I, I won't buy it. Um, you know, I'm not a big Zeppelin fan. Bad Company is something I buy, or the Eagles. I, I, I don't buy stuff I don't like just to say I have it, or I don't buy. $51 albums just to say I have that much more vinyl. All my stuff I have, I listen to, I listen to a lot of music. So if I'm buying it, it's because I really want it. So there's a little bit of the, uh, you know, uh, completest in me where, you know, you get the disco guitar, uh, 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 discography done, you'll buy a live album or like their last album or something like that. Yeah, that I will do, but that's just because I like the band. I mean, it's like, you know, docking in, in the early 90s to the mid 90s it was just crap but I got it all on CD uh, I don't think I've ever listened to those CDs more than what you know, Shadow Life you left that one in the shadows but anyway guys I just quick you know video on that and, and I, I'm a little different than most of what I've been hearing so you know, a lot of you guys that are that are, are responding to this are you guys been in it a while, you know what I mean? So you guys kind of got some more, uh, probably more the purge, you know. I think my biggest issue is I like to buy, like my favorite bands, I like to buy everything I can get of that. Like if there's like four different colors, <laughs> I will try to get them all, you know what I mean? They're all, it'll be on my want list. Uh, that I need to stop because that's causing me frustration. And it's, you know, that's, if they have three copies of it, um, you can buy, you know, you buy one. You buy one because that other 40 to $60, you can buy m more albums you don't have instead of going through the... But I, I do it. If I can find it cheap, I get it. Like, I got one back here, cheap. It's a 10th anniversary edition. So I bought it. But it's one of my favorite modern bands. So, I, I, you know, it's... It's give or take. I think we all break our own rules anyway. Um, and we go out and we see something there that we really want, that, that any guideline you have is out the window. I'm going to take this off the tighter because it's overheating. But anyway guys, that's it for me for now. Um, I, I don't know if that made sense, honestly. I just kind of wanted to get in and give my two cents of how I do it or how, what I think about it. But we'll say, remember, if you're thinning out this collection, make sure you really want to get rid of it. Like, think about it twice, because regret is a motherfucker, and then you're going to pay a shit ton more once you get rid of it. If we get rid of it, let me know. I might need some of it. Talk to y'all guys later.